Welcome to my loot video from 1,500 Abyssal Lords. Before anything, I did 997 Lords on task. And at kill count 1,361, I did get the Scourge weapon, which I was very thankful for. And there is the 1,500th kill. Time to fix my layout as it does look a little bit funny and then collect all of the loot so i'll be right back back at one of my favorite spots and that'll be the top of lumbridge castle now from 1500 absolute lords i was able to get 136 gold charms 68 green charms 451 crimson and look at this 19 blue charms i mean that's super depressing right there 19 from 13 hours and then these crystal triskeline fragments i got 29 of one 28 of two 29 of three. Oh wait why is it out of order Oh well. So I was able to make a full 28 sets. And again, this was just 13 hours worth. So a little over 2 elite clues an hour from it. And now time for the loot. Before anything, the raw GP was about 11.5 mil cash. Like just drops and then from the huge plate at rune salvages i got 11 840 k and then the last 8.4 mil is from the ori calcum small spikes so just from raw cash and the salvage thanks to the spring cleaner i was almost able to make 32 mil in cash now let's put everything up here now take out those two items i will take out the abyssal flesh as it's a new item and i don't like to say oh yeah this is worth two thousand coins when really it could be worth one coin it could be worth five thousand coins i just never do that and the same thing with this abyssal scourge which thankfully i got making this loot video because yeah doing a loot from 5000 lords would kind of be a little bit depressing so the average loot is 80 mil from all of this and again i always like to sell things for minus five percent so the total amount of loot is actually 76 mil then let's break it down since i did 13 hours of afk for this it brings absolors to about 5.9 mil gp per hour and since i'll round down a little bit it's closer to 5.8 mil consistently and that is including the infernal ashes which they're pretty much i mean it only adds 1.3 mil for it so i mean it shouldn't affect it too much and then you will notice I got a lot of soul runes. On average, I was getting 228 soul runes. For mud runes, I was able to get 504, which is extremely good for extreme magic potions. These pure essence, look at this, almost 43,000 of it. And for whatever reason, my abyssal beast was on average of 2,100 pure essence. These Absol Lords, I was getting 3,283 on average hourly. So these are actually pretty much in par with it. Although the beast, you can do that with 95 Slayer and you can just AFK it with Armado armor with the Mechanized Chin Champa. So in my opinion, the beasts are more easy to do. And again, you do have those savages, which they drop so much pure essence, it's crazy. 
and those only require 95 Slayer, whereas the Beasts require 105. The Herbs, I'm going to be honest, it's not too much, I mean, as you can tell. The most Herb I got the most was Grimy Cantadine, followed by Grimy Irids. For whatever reason, the Lantadines were the smallest amount at 190, and I have no idea why, but they've been crashing so hard, so I guess everyone is AFKing Heller nowadays. With the Hydrix Bolt Tips, I was getting on average of 86 an hour. And the last one that's pretty good would be these Wine of Zamrocks at 155 wines hourly. With that, covers over my loot from 1,500 Abyssal Lords. Thank you all so much for watching this loot video and enjoy the rest of your day.